Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in brief about the breakpoint chlorination. So, breakpoint chlorination means it is the amount of chlorine required to kill the bacteria and to remove the organic matter. To have better idea about the breakpoint chlorination, always a graph is drawn between applied chlorine and the residual chlorine. So, A grams of chlorine is required to remove the organic matter from the water. B gram of chlorine is required to form other chloro compounds like chloramine. C grams of chlorine is required to kill the bacteria. D is the excess of chlorine present in the water. So, this chlorination process is effective when the pH is maintained from 5 to 6.5. As the temperature increases, the rate of chlorination also increases. But remember that as the time increases, the rate of chlorination decreases. So, a gram of chlorine is required to remove the organic matter. B gram is required to form other chloro compounds like chloramines. C gram of chlorine is required to kill the bacteria where D gram of chlorine is residual chlorine that means excess of chlorine present in the water. If free chlorine present in the water exceeds 0.2 ppm that gives unpleasant taste and water to the water which is toxic in nature. And hence, excess of chlorine can be removed through dechlorination process. It involves the treatment of chlorinated water with sulfur dioxide or sodium sulfite. So, whenever it is treated with sulfur dioxide, it results in the formation of sulfuric acid and HCl and thus excess of free chlorine can be removed. In the similar way, whenever sodium sulfite is added to the chlorinated water, it reacts with chlorine, results in the formation of sodium sulfate and HCl and thus excess of free chlorine present in the water can be removed. This is all about the breakpoint chlorination. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.